Hey there, silver stacking community. So I did say I was going to start smelt melting silver, and I've just finished building my little foundry here, my forge foundry. And uh, I want to kind of walk you through what I did, and then we'll uh, we'll get started into uh, tempering the crucible. And then I expect sometime either today or tomorrow, I'll do my very first silver pour. So stick along with me while we go through this. So let's go ahead and start off with the build first. We've got our standard six gallon steel can, uh, trash can here. And the way I put this together was basically on the inside, I got some one inch cable, wrapped it all the way around. I used these steel bolts and washers to hold it in place. I didn't use any glue or anything like that. And then at the bottom, I also have under these bricks, these fire bricks, a layer of this cable. And then I just uh, filled out these bricks to fill out the bottom. Now I've already test fired it just to make sure it would burn up, uh, start up, but we'll do that again on video here shortly. And then for the frame, the way I got this is, I got one of these burners, is the only thing I did not make was these burners right here. And I bought them off eBay for, I don't know, 150 fifty dollars or something like that and I got two of them so I'm gonna use the second one to build the uh, furnace to heat my molds and so we got an on off switch right here I put a little uh, spring right here so I don't accidentally push this down too hard these bolts or these screws seem to hold it in perfectly in place nice and steady and similar to the bucket I got them also well fastened so that I can even pick this thing up by lifting this up if I needed to. So this whole thing is pretty solid. For the lid, basically I just cut a big nice hole in the top. Same thing with the cable all the way around. Use these Hecnux bolts and washers to fasten it in place. And the idea is with these U-bolts I can use these to lift and take off the uh, the lid once it's going. Then for the actual crucible, I'll put a uh, screenshot in there of it baking in the oven, 300 degrees Fahrenheit. And then for lifting it, I got two tools at the moment. I'll probably change this up a little bit. But I got this tool right here, which I can use to come down here, go in, pull it out, etc., etc. But I'll get some live action shots of that in a, in a bit. So stick around with me while we start our very first firing. This is Apatox. So I just got the crucible out of the oven after it's been baking for roughly one hour at 300 degrees. I'm about to temper it by throwing it into the foundry to get red hot. And then we'll let it cool naturally. Here we go. First firing looks good. Hope we can leave it there for a while. And we'll allow that to slowly heat up. And uh, yeah, I'll get back to this in a little bit. Op talks. Quick status check update. I've been running this for about five minutes. Uh, I've got some good thermal infrared of it as well. 
As you can see, the inside is nice and toasty, but the crucible is just now glowing. Can't really see because it's daylight out here. But uh, yeah, we're going to let this run for another 10 minutes. And uh, we'll get back to you in a bit. Up top. What I wanted to note about how I have the uh, butane set up is we got the gas line going out into this pipe. As you can see, it's barely even a fourth of the way open, a third of the way open. Uh, nowhere near its full uh, potential. This air choke seems to be perfect at this site. I can make it go hotter by opening it up even further. If you can hear that. But I'm trying to let this thing warm up a little bit slowly. I don't want it to warm up too fast, which it seems to be doing right now. It's warming up pretty fast. Look at that. Glowing already. That's connected to the propane tank, which has this pretty sweet Chinese-made regulator. It should be 30 PSI, uh, but for whatever reason, when I turn it on, it only goes up to 20. Could be the flow rate. This is turned all the way on. This is turned all the way on, and I'm regulating the gas through here. If I should be doing it differently, let me know, but I think that works pretty well. That crucible is pretty glowing. I don't know how well it comes out in the camera, but it is nice in there. I'll take some thermal shots here and see what it looks like in a second. As you can see in that thermal shot, it does look pretty good uh, that I could almost touch that can. But it's glowing pretty in red in there, so what I'm going to do is shut it off. And then we'll just let it cool naturally. Take a look at that. That is glowing red hot. So I think that is going to melt anything from aluminum to silver to copper and gold. So we're going to go ahead and just put that on there and let it cool naturally. It'll probably take all night or all day. But uh, yeah, that should do it. And let some of the, the heat escape that way. We'll be back in a few hours. Hoppa talks.